sometimes it can happen after swimming or showering that water still remains in your ears. After all, some water runs in here, which doesn't necessarily find its way out again quickly. Our ear canal is not a straight tunnel, but very winding. Water can collect here very well, and then does not come out so easily. The result can be very unpleasant, because you then constantly have the feeling as if something is stuck in your ear canal and you would like to get it out again as quickly as possible. In addition to the annoying feeling, you can hear much worse and everything sounds as if you have a cotton ball on your ear. The good thing is that the water will eventually come out of the ear by itself. But it may take a few days, and if you don't want to wait that long, here are some tips to help you get rid of the water in your ear. Number 1. Hopping Probably the best known method to get water out of your ear is to bounce or shake your head. If you have water in your right ear, you should hop on your right leg while putting your head towards your shoulder. This will make it easier for the water to drain out. Number 2. Pull on the earlobe Another method to remove water from the ear is to pull on the earlobe. If you pull your earlobe down towards your shoulder, and at the same time tilt your head a little to the side, the water can drain away more easily. You can also lie on the side where you have the water in the ear, so it can flow out directly. Number 3. Yawn or Chew If you yawn or chew more often, for example a chewing gum, this can open your so-called eustachian tube. This makes it much easier for the water to flow out of the ear and you can quickly get rid of your problem. Number 4. With a hair dryer. If the water does not want to flow out of the ear, you can also let it evaporate with the help of a hair dryer. To do this, turn the hair dryer on at the lowest setting and hold it about 30 centimeters away from the ear. Slowly approach the ear and then move away again. You can also pull your earlobe down a bit, which will help speed up the process. And number 5. The Valsava method. For the Valsava method, you need to close your mouth once and hold your nose. Now try to blow some air out of your nose as if you were blowing your nose. This builds up pressure, which opens the eustachian tube. You may hear a bang when you do this. However, this bang only indicates that the eustachian tube is free again. The water should now be able to flow out. Also, your ears may have quite a bit of earwax. If you now get water in your ear, the earwax can soften and thus also block your ear canal. How exactly you can remove earwax? We show you in another video. You can find it here in the upper right corner of the info box. Try the tips mentioned here to remove water from the ear. Surely one of them will help you to get the water out of your ear, so that you can finally hear normally again and this annoying feeling of pressure disappears. We also link you to a video in which we show you how you can get rid of pressure on the ears. Be sure to check it out as well. If you like the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.